So we're going to uh, pick out a motherboard and kind of look at the specifications uh, that determine how good a motherboard is. Uh, motherboard is basically where you plug in every, every component that you buy separately into. So uh, what you have to remember with a motherboard, there are very, very cheap motherboards that may seem like a good deal made by Japanese or Taiwanese startups. And then there are really good, well-known ones like ABIT and ASUS that are kind of brand name that you want to kind of steer towards if you're building your own motherboard. Uh, the question is for uh, building uh, a PC itself. So this is taking out of the equation Dell and HP and all those things. You can use the components that are inside those computers, but basically, essentially, you're building your, a brand new computer with a new motherboard. So uh, I'm going to bring up this motherboard here to kind of give you some ideas of what these things look like on a motherboard. Um, these are PCI slots. These are ex standard kind of slots for expansion. They've been around for many, many years, at least 10 that I know of. Uh, the graphics card slots, you want to make sure that it has the new one, PCI Express. And if you have an older graphics card that you want to continue using, you want to make sure that it has an AGP slot too uh, that uh, will allow you to use a new one and an old one. Um, not at the same time, but you know, if you plan on upgrading, you want to make sure you have the right slots. Um, then these are the DIMMs, D-I-M-M. -M. Uh, these are the memory card slots. Um, however many you have dictates how many memory modules you can put in. Also, the type of motherboard uh, kind of dictates what type of memory that you can use, what speed it operates at. Um, so if you get a low-end motherboard, it'll only allow, say, 667 megahertz or uh, 533 megahertz uh, speed memory instead of the new stuff, the 1066 or 1333 megahertz. So you want to make sure that it has, A, enough slots for you, and B, that it runs at the right speed. And then underneath this big heat sink here, there is a, uh, a slot for your actual CPU. This is the brain of the computer. You want to make sure it's, a, it's the right socket. So if it's an Intel, make sure it's the right socket number, 775 or 478. 478 is the old one, 775 is the new one. Uh, AMD, you want to make sure it has the right AMD slot socket. Socket A is what they call it. Uh, also, you want to make sure it has the right onboard connectors for you as well. So if you want onboard audio, instead of buying an audio card, make sure it has that there. Uh, make sure if you want onboard video and you don't really care about 3D gra graphics because onboard video is not really game-worthy stuff, you want to make sure it has it on here. You want to make sure it has as many USB ports as you want on here. So if you want four USB ports or eight USB ports, depending on how, many expansion, um, how much expansion you intend on doing in the future, you want to make sure it has, it's capable of supporting that. Uh, if it has an onboard NIC, uh, network interface card, you want to make sure it has the right slot for that. If you, if you want to network your PC or you want to plug in a cable modem or DSL modem directly into your computer. 